Hello and welcome to Minerik U, training in 60 seconds. In previous videos we've seen that electric motors come in many different forms and can move a load in different ways. Loads can be turned at a commanded speed or in some cases positioned with high accuracy. To start, designers need to decide which of the two ways they want loads to move, rotary or linear. Stated simply, loads can go round and round or back and forth. Most motors are rotary, providing rotational torque that can be used for control of speed or rotary positioning. For linear movement, the common approach is to convert rotation into linear motion mechanically. Rotary motors can turn belts or chains, direct drive or pinch rollers. When used with other rollers, this creates linear conveyor type movement. Rotary motors can also turn a threaded shaft, while the load is connected to a non-rotating nut. This is commonly known as a linear actuator. Rotating pinion gears can also drive against a toothed rack to achieve push and pull motion. The most complex option is actual linear motors, which we'll cover in another segment. That does it for this training minute. Thanks for watching.